What's up, Toasties? Movie Toaster Adam here. I just saw a movie called Maggie Moores. Uh, this was directed by John Slattery, the actor from Mad Men. Um, it stars a bunch of people you don't know, but it has co-stars that you will know. It has Tina Fey, John Hamm, Nick Muhammad. If you don't know the name, you know Nate the Great, Ted Lasso, that's him. Uh, so it's a very strange story that they're telling here. It's uh, about a husband who owns a, uh, or has a franchise a sub shop, uh, that he doesn't actually properly use. He doesn't order his meats and food products from the actual franchise. He illegally purchases expired meats and foods from a sketchy person. And, uh, that sketchy person, all, all they want in return is a package to be delivered to the sub shop. And then he'll pick it up later on. Uh, unfortunately, the owner doesn't know what the package contains. He just knows he's getting a sale, which is gross and weird. Uh, but his wife discovers this and opens the package and discovers that it's kitty porn. And uh, she threatens to go to the police. She, uh, she essentially tells her husband she wants a divorce. And he wants her to rethink that. So he hires a hitman to scare her into not going to the police and not getting a divorce. However, hitmen don't just scare this hitman ends up murdering her and then burning her corpse in the middle of nowhere. Uh, and then John Hamm and Nick Muhammad are uh, the uh, cops in the town. They discover this and they start investigating. Now, uh, they, the owner of the franchise thinks the cops are on to him because uh, they kind of are. And uh, it turns out he says, well, there's another Maggie Moore, same name, that lives like a mile or two away. What if I have the hitman go and kill her? So it looks like the first one was an accident to take the cops off my scent. So that's kind of the weird premise going on here. And then it's them investigating and whatnot. Uh, I'm not going to lie. This movie did not do it for me. Not in the slightest. I thought, oh, it has some great comedy uh, actors in it. And uh, an actor is directing it, so he knows what's up. But... <sighs> The acting was kind of abysmal. It, it was kind of lackluster. I mean, John Hamm and uh, Tina Fey have a great relationship in it. Uh, they really play off each other well. Nick Muhammad and John Hamm, they have an interesting uh, relationship in it. But the main characters, they're not even the main actors in it. The main actors are kind of, yeah, a little cringy. And the story, like, as I was telling you, it's kind of weird and out there and kind of, uh, and uh, the dialogue is mediocre. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna lie to you. I watched an hour and something of this. I still had like thirty to forty minutes left. I couldn't finish it. I stopped. And I normally don't stop. And I rented this movie, but this movie is not for me. Uh, it might be for you. So I'm. I'm just here to tell you about it. Uh, if you uh, like the movie, if you've seen the movie and I'm wrong, you think, let me know. I want to I know what you think about it. Um, until then, stay toasty, my friends.